You are such an asshole! AssholeConsulting.com, go there if you have questions and you have money because this is a paid-for service, as indicated with AssholeConsulting.com. Basically, there's a very short lesson here in economics and political philosophy. If you get it for free, it's shit. If you have to pay for something, it's typically good, unless you're getting scammed. But in my case, I'm not scamming you. I'm simply telling you this thing called the truth. Oh, hi, Aaron. I last wrote you about guilt over my ailing father. <clears throat> Thanks again for your advice today. I have another problem. I'm a male in my mid-20s, and for the last six months, I've been in a relationship with a great girl who I lost virginity to. She gave me a lot of firsts, and our relationship was amazing. She had so many good qualities, beautiful, genuine, loving, passionate, and so many other things about her checked out. However, for the past few weeks, our relationship began to slowly die. To make it short, I've had... To make it short, we've had consecutive fights due to her being cold and distant and pe me pestering her about it and me being too overwhelming for her. Okay, so it sounds like if this just everything is going great and cozy and kosher for six months and then all of a sudden the past few weeks, something, she found another guy. That's what it is. She's fucking some other guy. Now, I have no proof of that, but statistically speaking, that's what happened. And then you, terribly sorry to say this, being Asian and a virgin in your 20s and not knowing what the fuck you were doing... You probably got all emotional with her. You flooded her and you just drove her further away. This is just what the old captain thinks. I'm not going to go send a fucking private detective to go confirm it. Uh, yeah, you never pester women. You never, you don't, you don't ask them about what they're doing or what the, you just, because then, you, you know, you say like, hey, fucking, are you this? Okay, fine, then get the fuck out. That's basically, you say, where are we? That's the only real time, I mean, it, it, that's about as far as you go to ask about their emotions or feelings. Like, where do we stand? And then it's like, oh, that's where, okay, we'll get the fuck out of here. So, um, oops, let's go back. Uh, they ended up turning into fights, and the romance obviously started dying. The fights began to build up over and over. A week ago, we finally broke up. I was very devastated and heartbroken, and like the stupid emotional mess that I was, I would, all I wanted was for her to come back to me. Um, <clears throat> three days later, it turns out that she actually did come back. She surprised me by showing up at my house and asked for me back. Oh, that's because her guy she was fucking left her. And how much she missed me. I told, I took her back and we became normal again for another few days. I saw her this weekend and expected us to have a normal weekend together. And to my surprise, she was being cold and distant again. Yeah, because she found the other guy leading me to pester her about it, and as you can guess, another fight erupted. She was a lot more furious this time, and just last night we broke up again, and she told me she didn't want to talk to me anymore. Okay, now it really feels like it's over. I still can't believe that what I dreamed about, her coming back to me, actually became a reality, and I managed to screw it up again. You, dude, you didn't screw it up, again, over some, some something so small and stupid. Here, here, okay, kid, listen to me. You didn't screw this up. I'm, I'm not taking a knee for you. I'm, I was on my knees and they're starting to lose blood. That's why I'm moving my position. Um, you didn't screw this up. This was condemned from the beginning. Okay, this girl, if she's the, it, it, forget whether it's another guy, that she's becoming cold and distant. She's hot and she's cold. She's hot and she's cold. This oscillation in her personality, it doesn't matter if it's another guy or two other guys or PMS or whatever fucking bullshit. That's not worth it. That's not what mature women do. Okay? Now, this is standard. This is standard until women hit about their 30s. And even then, it never really fully goes away. But they cut it out with the bullshit because they realize, oh shit, I'm not hotting the cock hots anymore. And I better start acting like a motherfucking adult. This is why, I don't know if you, well, you haven't yet because you, you obviously haven't dated a lot. But I remember the temper tantrums. Uh, that was a very common thing in my early 20s. And magically, the girls cut that bullshit off really quick once they hit the 30s because, like, oh, guys won't tolerate this crap. Like, then guys see through it. It's like, yeah, we're not dealing with that. So it doesn't matter why. The why doesn't matter. All that matters is what is. And what is in your case is a girl who is not emotionally stable and is not worth dating. You have your self-respect. You're, like, saying, hey, um, what the fuck's going on? Why are you doing this? You know, and I, I'm thinking maybe you did it in a pussified manner, which, okay, we can deal with that later. But the fact, what instigated all this, the, the, the seed of the problem, is her changing from hot to cold, hot to cold. That's not you. That's her. Right? And I know because, you know, you're a fucking, you know, you, I, I, I'm a, I've 
suspecting you're uh, a pussified former virgin. Uh, this is the first girl you've really ever had. You're like, yeah, 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 because the emotions and the and the endorphins are running through your brain. You think you're, you're, you are. You're going to find another one uh, because you're going to knock it off with this fucking nerd bullshit. And uh, you're going to fucking hit the gym, do other stuff. And you're going to stop chasing around. Because I could see that maybe what happened, which only worsened it. But the real problem was she just went cold on you. What the fuck? Six months, everything's fine. And all of a sudden she starts going cold. There's, an- there's another variable outside of your control, likely another guy. That, that it's not your problem, not your control. Get rid of this chick. You don't want a chick that fucking cheats on you, let alone acts like this, right? So you, you, you won in this one. You, you, you don't want this type of girl. Um, now, now we go to the next page. Uh, since my erosions are high, my logic is low. As I told you in my last video, I moved to a new city away from my California hometown. About a year ago, since I wanted to heal from this heartbreak as fast as possible, I've been debating on whether I should move back home with my mom, dad, dog, siblings, and longtime best friends who all love me and want me back. To be honest, the job I have here sucks. I hate it, and especially since this breakup, it's been hard as hell to focus. All in all, after losing the one person I spent every weekend with in this city where I had no friends, I really see no reason to be here in D.C. anymore, especially when a cluster of people are waiting for me back home. The last time I felt heartbroken like this was four years ago, but I remember how easy it was to recover because I was in my hometown constantly surrounded by friends, going to parties, kickbacks, and family dinner. Blah, 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 blah. I like your input and advice I want you to do. Yeah, go home. I would normally say quit being a pussy, tough it out, blah, blah, blah. But what, what sealed it for me is in your, you're in Washington, D.C. Get the fuck out of there. That is leftist shithole. <laughs> There's nothing for you. I mean, if you want to be a political scumbag and, and get, yeah, okay. There. If you want to be like a gay lover for a politician, okay, you can make some money there. Okay, fine. But for, yeah, there's there's no reason to be in D.C. The people are fucking assholes there. Um, I would I would just get the fuck out of D.C. and go back. Should I stay here in D.C., work at the same job and feeling alone? No, but at the same time, taking advantage of the fact that I have a job and setup that I already am comfortable with, or should I go pack my things and go back home to, to all the people who love me? I understand that doing something so drastic like moving home after a breakup sounds emotional and stupid, but I can't help but thinking. See, if it, if, if you had a, a good job that you liked and you were in a cool town, I, I would say, yeah, stop being a fucking pussy. Men don't just run back home every time they fucking get their ass kicked in life. But you live in such a shitty place I would, I would, that's, that's what's convincing me. Um, but, um, yeah, you, you might as well start your life over. Especially since, considering my dad has cancer, would be happier than ever to know I've moved back home. Yeah, make your dad happy. Look, if your dad's gonna die, spend time with your old man. Absolutely. I don't want to run away from my problems and run away from the life I set up in D.C. You're really not, you're leaving a shitty, look, the girl in the town are whores, okay? They are shitty Things you do not want to invest in or be around. I don't go hang out with welfare bums. I don't hang out with drug, uh, not drug. I actually probably enjoy very much the company of drug dealers. I do not hang out with people who do drugs. Um, I don't hang out with losers. I don't hang out with liberals. I don't hang out with leftists. I don't hang out with parasites. I don't really hang out with single moms. I hang out with cool people that got their shit together. And DC is just, you know, you're hanging out with two, you're hanging out with a girl who's psycho or dramatics, or is fucking around on you, and you're hanging out in D.C. Get the fuck out of there. It's like, oh, I'm trying to escape North Korea, but I don't want to run away from my problems. Get the fuck out of North Korea. Go see your dad with cancer, uh, and then you're going to hit the fucking gym. You're going to stop being such a fucking pussy. I wish I should write a book, How to Stop Being a Fucking Pussy. And maybe someday I will write it, but I think I think basically you guys choose to do that. I think you guys, because I used to be a nerd. I used to like, you know, I used to like, you know, I'm not going to go to the gym. People like me for me. That's what my mom said. The girls will like me for my personality. Duh. But that's because I was lied to. Now you're 20. You're in your mid-20s. You still believe that bullshit? And oh, my, this girl and that. Yeah. <laughs> so hang out with your folks. Recover. Get a game plan together. And you're going to improve yourself as an individual. And you're going to... I don't care if you got a read Roosh's books or go to a pickup artist school or something, you're going to stop being a fucking pussy. Read Cernovich's book, Gorilla Mindset. And don't just read it, fucking apply it. All right? I'd say Bachelor Pad Economics, that's finance, okay? You need you need a mental thing up here. 
So I hope that helps out. And, uh, yep, get the fuck out of D.C. No reason to be there. And it's probably be the best decision you make. Toodles.